tell you what can fuck off. <laughs> People that call it Mothering Sunday. <laughs> Mother's Day. You show me a man who calls it Mothering Sunday, I'll show you a man who's breastfed till he was eight. <laughs> Mothering. He's probably the kind of bloke that can't call it a vagina, he calls it a front bottom. <laughs> I don't think there's a creepier collection of words than front bottom. <laughs> it always sounds my naughty tail. The spelling of the word chihuahua, I won't have that either. <laughs> Chihuahua, not on my watch. <laughs> People who make a cup of tea by putting milk in first, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Personalised number plates. You must just scribble the words cunt on your bonnet. <laughs> Channel 4 documentaries, really well-meaning, and they give them horrific titles. Next up, a look at obesity in modern China. Please enjoy Wu ate all the pies. And you're like... <laughs> Blokes who want to be applauded for pointing out the obvious. I heard this man in Shoreditch say the other day, I don't think there's ever an excuse for you to hit a woman. And you're like, really? Thank God you said that. Because until you came along, I was going to knock my nan's teeth out with a hammer. But... <laughs> Luckily, Captain Edgy, with his newfangled ideas, came along and blew my mind. <laughs> I heard this bloke, I hated him on sight. He was surrounded by this gaggle of fabulous ladies, and he was just there going, I don't think we should war. And the girls were like, I agree. <laughs> and he said this, he went, we should be like bonobo chimps. They don't war, they don't fight, they settle arguments by making love. <laughs> and the girls were like, that's a wonderful idea. And he was like, I know. Oh, yeah, that is a wonderful idea until you have a row with your family and then that is going to be the worst night of your life. I think it is how you should spell Chihuahua. Stop it, Dad. Stop it. I went to the West Country at the weekend, which is always a treat. Yeah, one whoop for everyone else. It's, it's not London, is it? It's not London. London, city of hate. <laughs> Brilliant. It's the only place in the world where if someone throws himself in front of a train, people go, you selfish fucker. <laughs> I'm gonna be late for the job I hate. <laughs> the West Country isn't like that, it's fabulous. I'm just surrounded by weirdos, I love it. Like my Uncle John. My Uncle John's probably my favorite person in the world. Lunatic. I remember when I was 14 years old at a wedding, he went, here's a tip. If you're gonna use a safe word, make sure it's short. And he told me, <laughs> A story that he was with a dominatrix who was trying to choke him and he was trying to say the word rhododendron. Now, 